Hello, I'm DJ Karana. Welcome to the final episode of this series of My Australia, the show about people from overseas having Australian experiences. Coming up today, Tony takes a huge leap and becomes an Australian citizen, Shobi tackles her fear of fish, and some of our guests meet each other for the first time and talk about their experiences. First up today, Tony decides to become an Australian citizen on Australia Day. He's one of 13,000 people from 143 countries who are doing this in ceremonies all around the nation. My name is Tony. I'm from China. I spend a lot of time with my grandparents, so I guess really develop a very close relationship with my, with my grandma. I made my decision to come to Australia about five years ago and studied here for about two years. I live in the eastern suburb of Sydney. The building I live is in 1920s, really art deco building, but it gives you a feeling that it's a home. I work for a film company for uh, marketing. It's mainly about online campaign. Uh, my typical day now would be get up about eight o'clock and doing some morning exercise and stretching. And then I'll come back, start to do my, my daily work. And then I will go to the gym to try to keep myself fit. I guess it's really a relaxing lifestyle in Australia and I can do a lot of things that I really want to and people won't judge you on what you do. I've been volunteering with uh, one of the organisations uh, in Sydney for about more than two years now. Uh, it's ICOM, uh, stands for AIDS Council in New South Wales. I guess for volunteering work, I get much more than a ever give. I'm more appreciate the people around me, like I start to hug people and everything. And you really feel that intimacy of people. Uh, and they always tell me one hug a day keeps doctor away. So I guess um, that's something I've learned. Just uh, when I came down the last hour to my citizenship ceremony, I didn't sleep too much last night. I'm a bit excited. And I came to Hyde Park this morning, see all those people, I feel, wow, it's quite cheerful. It's like a carnival, it's really festival. I, I feel excited. I think there are 13,000 people today across Australia will become new Australian citizens. Amazing, isn't it? I think I start to call Australia home now and that's probably the reason that I want to become an Australian citizen, to get involved with the community and uh, have my say about this country's future. Ever since I came to Australia, I would say I really enjoy the freedom of being myself rather than um, hiding something. I think that uh, there are two factors that really affect my life about my sexuality. In Australia, I got more accepting people. I feel there's more tolerance. I feel more pressure from the family back in China and the society if I go to work, go to school. Happy Australia Day! Oh, hello, how are you today? Can you take a photo with me? Sure. Ah, what do I do with the form? Just fill in the top for you once. Once, yeah. you, once you become an Australian citizen, you can fill out this form. Now, the, the main thing today is that uh, with you getting your, your citizenship is you receive your Australian citizenship certificate. Now, the Lord Mayor will present this to you after at the end of the formalities. And this um, certificate is your certificate to keep, and it's the proof of your Australian citizenship. Which region in Shanghai? Which district? Uh, Xuhui. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Oh, that's very centralised. I yeah. go there quite a lot too. So well, why do you want to become a citizen? Uh, because uh, I uh, stay in this, uh, live in this country and uh, it's always nice and that very honourable uh, to be Australian citizen. Yeah. yeah. I know. So you guys from Manila? Or... Yeah. Well, it's a quite you know, vibrant city there too. Yeah. It's a place where we can easily blend in with the people and the culture. I like the lifestyle as well. I'm um, going to work just nine to five, and then after that, you still have a couple of hours to meet your friends, go shopping, watch a movie, yeah. and then. Uh... Yeah.
Australia Day is our nation's single largest day of celebration. The citizenship service is taking place here around Australia Day. All of us, bar our Indigenous citizens, our newcomers, our immigrants to Australia, sharing it with its original owners. We have the right to political freedom and the responsibility to obey and uphold the laws that give you that freedom. So you could repeat after me. From this time forward, I pledge my loyalty to Australia and its people, whose democratic beliefs I share, whose rights and liberties I respect, and whose laws I will uphold and obey. Please Jia Ying came to Sydney in 2006 from China to study at the university. Since coming to Australia, he has embraced the freedom of being able to be himself and has since been awarded a master's degree. Jia Ying says that he feels enormous gratitude for the many friendly people here. And he's also looking forward to a new chapter in his life, which begins today. Congratulations. I feel great to become an Australian citizen. It makes me really want to commit myself to this country. Uh, after the ceremony, we just went down, have the tea together, and they all congratulate me. Um, and we had a great time together. It, it's really wonderful to be with friends and let them to witness the whole thing. <laughs> and to put on my face, how do I look? <laughs> yeah. All right, to all of you new Aussies, yeah. congratulations. The, uh, the lot may approached us and the way we took a picture together. But when we're standing there face to face, talk to her, take pictures together, that's a different feeling and it feels nice. I really enjoyed today. I really enjoyed being an Australian citizen. I enjoyed it the whole ceremony and the being with all the new people. Um, I think it's really the beginning of a new chapter of my life. That looked like a wonderful day and he even got to meet the Lord Mayor of Sydney. Congratulations, Tony, and best of luck for the future. Our next story is not quite so grand, but fishing is a popular pastime in Australia and Shobi wants to have a go at it herself. The only problem is she's afraid of fish. So will she be able to tackle her fear? Let's find out. I'm Shobra Naya and I'm from Malaysia. I spent most of my childhood in my head. I was, you know, a dreamer. I was chronically hyperactive and sickly. Friends would describe me as crazy, uh, probably a bit eccentric. Because I come from Borneo, I'm not used to a metropolitan life. I'm not used for things being really fast paced. So Adlib is a really nice mix of activity and the slow and comfortable pace. I'm currently studying communications and mass media in um, UniSA, McGill campus. George or Robert Bloomsfield? Jody, I think. Lucky. Yes. <laughs> She's awesome. I've always wanted to work in a bookshop and Unibooks is very convenient because it was on campus already. I got the job basically because I harassed the manager until I got the job. Performing, it's a mix of excitement and nervousness. Look at this big bulging cortex. Such knowledge. It's fun, it's something I would never give up because even in school I was in the playgroups and I was in public speaking so the stage calls to me. It's four o'clock in the morning. I'm going fishing today. So I'm gonna face my fear with that. It's the um, first time fishing in Australia. I am actually very nervous about today, but I'm also very excited. Morning, Jody. Yeah, 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 how? How was it, mate? I've never gone deep sea fishing. I don't think I've ever been on a boat for that long of a time anyway. This is my dad, and he's come all the way from Malaysia. 
and he's coming fishing with us. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> dad has come down to Australia. My mom and my dad are coming down for my graduation, and um, I managed to convince him to come fishing with me, mostly because well, he's generally a very calm kind of guy, and I think I need that around when the fish come up. And um, I think it's, it'll be good for me to have my dad there with me. Yeah, the thing is, the fish doesn't stop when it dies. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. Morning. I'm John. Show me. Oh, sweet. See, this is Pete. Welcome Hi. aboard. Hi. We're on fishing charters. Okay. okay. Thank you. What can you catch with a fish this big? What? I mean, how big do you? A fish this big. Are you serious? <laughs> Very serious. Oh my lord. I do like a challenge, and you know, for most things in life, I'm not afraid to jump in head first. But um, I would hope that this is perhaps a little. So I can focus on the excitement of it a little bit more, you know, up and, you know, active. So that way I don't just sit and wallow in the fear and the nervousness of it. <laughs> I'm worried the waves are going to throw me off the boat. <laughs> Went camping when I was 12 with the Bratz Camp. Um, one of the challenges was to catch and um, cook a fish. And the tragedy was I caught two fishes, which was scary enough. And when it came time to actually cleaning the fish, our problem was our fish just didn't die. So we had to behead it. And fish don't stop moving when they are headless. So you have this headless thing just spurting blood all over the place. And we were 12 years old, we were terrified. <laughs> and I have never forgotten that mental image of that headless flopping fish. <laughs> fish, we've got our tummy on for bait. Mm -hmm. Just release the bail arm. The and then let it down, just watch the line. We're in quite deep water. Okay. So how far should you go with that? All the way till it stops letting the line out. <laughs> I think you've got one. What? What am I doing? What am I doing? Now you're going to wind it up. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what am I winding? Wind this up. Oh dear Lord, it happened. Stupid fish. Don't oh, cling on. So sure if it's, yeah, 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 you've got him, I think. Got to yeah, I think it's still there. Oh, you poor guy. Can I poke it? What fish is that? Aja, Aja. I don't it. trust you. <laughs> That's a red snapper. Yes, it is. I never knew red snappers had spots. It's just a metre short. That's the biggest fish you have ever caught. <laughs> the biggest I've ever caught would be probably a 70 pound Samson fish, around about four foot long. Yeah. We've hooked and released a, uh, a 12 foot white pointer once, accidentally. We didn't know it was a white until we got it right alongside the boat and then we realised it was a white pointer. We had to cut the line and let it go. Why? Ah, oh, they're protected. Ah, OK. <gasps> Mama! These ones will flick. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my God, in heaven. Holy shit. And there's a shark. <laughs> Can you take the shark away yeah. from me now? <laughs> oh, my Watch God. Oh, this is not helping me at all. <laughs> oh, please, please. Ah! I'm actually a bit nervous about sharks. You want to come out and pat the uh, shark? Because uh, recently there have been some newspaper articles about, you know, sharks catching people out of the water. I know I won't be out of the water, but I think fish know when they're afraid of you. And sharks technically are a fish. So I think they'll be around. <laughs> You know what? Stuff this. I'm sick and tired of being scared of this stupid little thing. Does it flop or wiggle a lot when you're holding it? Uh, if you hold it firm, no. You just gotta hold it firm around the gills here. Holy mother God. <laughs> Bad timing. <laughs> hold it firm around the gills. <laughs> 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 Just measure it, make sure. Yep, he's legal. 40 centimetres. Grab the tail. That's it. That's it. That's the one. Oh my god! Now hold it firm. Oh no, hold it! Oh no, I don't want to. Don't let go. You're don't doing it. You got it. Don't let go. I already have. Ah! Right. Okay, take care of me now. I hate this! <laughs>
<laughs> you want to put him in the bin? What bin? Yeah, just behind you. There oh, you go. Uh, That's all right. Drop him in there when you can. Hey! Oh, done. my God! It's, it's, it's the flopping. It's, it's the flopping that scares me. It's... it's... Icky! Ooh. Wash my hands. <laughs> I was a little nervous at the time, so just thinking, you know, okay, see the fish, deal with the fish, hold the fish, kind of things. So, you know, it's, it's small steps. But I never realised how afraid I actually was until I saw the fish. So it was, it was very interesting. I don't think it's very normal. Uh-oh. Do not think I've overcome my fear. I think I might have gained a new fear of boats, but um, I don't know, I think it might be something I'll have to work on. It was good for, definitely good for Shobi. She has learned a lot, lot from this experience. I hope you just uh, do her well in the future. So anyway, she has gone through this experience. It's an exciting one for her. Something to learn from it. Back. Oh, this is. Glad I had the experience, but I probably wouldn't do it again, simply because I don't think it's good for me <laughs> to go through that over and over again. I want to do a kiss. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Great work, Shobi. I have to say, I don't mind lazing about in a boat, but I'm not very good at actually catching fish. After the break, some of the My Australia guests meet each other for the first time and talk about their experiences. Stick around. Welcome back. We've spoken to some amazing people on My Australia and asked them some interesting questions. Here are some of the best. Hi, have you ever been worked as a waitress? Yeah. Uh, what's it like? Um, horrible. Can you show us the size of the biggest fish you've ever caught? Well... <laughs> it's pretty small. <laughs> it's not an ice cream, silly. What was your proudest moment? Coming to this world. When you were born? Yep. OK. And how did it feel? I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> the wave hit the boat. Boom, boom, boom. Chandelier's rattle, the chandelier dropped, went down, bounced off his head, which was bald, bounced off, hit his nose, landed in, in a bowl of soup, splashed all over him. I just stood down, looked down and said, I'll get the manager. <laughs> I was in schoolies in Byron, and uh, we thought it would be fun to light some fireworks in the nut, in the nutty. So that was pretty <laughs> hardcore. You were nude lighting fireworks. Yep, that's correct. You're responsible for this makeover? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> OK. Yeah. And are you happy with the way it turned out? Uh, yeah. Can you describe <laughs> how he looked before this? Oh, oh not good. What's the, what's the most radical thing you guys have ever done to your appearance? Yes, here's my nipples. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the final episode of My Australia for the series, and what better way to celebrate than to get some of the guests together for the first time to share a laugh and talk about their experiences. Check it out. Hi, good morning. Hi. Hi. That must be Jasmine, is it? Hello, yeah. Hi, Jasmine. Frankie. Hi, Frankie. Nice Hi. to meet you. Hi, Neva. Neva and Shobi. Uh, we decided to go yeah. out on a picnic, and the families have bought uh, a little bit of food which we are going to share during this picnic, and also uh, try to get to know uh, what exactly are, have been the experiences. Awesome. OK, I'll set the table. Why? Why? <laughs> I learned how I did a bartending go. Oh, when? So she's going to be using all her skills out. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. did you learn? Oh, God. Um, I learned how to pull a beer. <laughs> so pull it from a tap so it's not so foamy at the top or flat at the top. I learned how to take food orders because a lot of bars in Australia, um, food is a part of the pub. That's what I learned. Yeah. I learned not to drop a lot of plates. That was did you hard. Did anything? Oh, of course I did. <laughs> Dropped a lot of plates. So what else did you do on Mount Australia? Um, we had a cricket picnic. It was a 40 degree day. Wow. Do you follow a lot of cricket? No. <laughs> I didn't know how to play cricket. Wonderful. <laughs> I just know the basics and that people wear white pants when they play it. It's big about it. But I learned I learned how to bowl, wow. how to hit. <laughs> ah! I just got run out. I want to win. After the cricket, we had a barbecue, and um, 
I was always curious about what was in a sausage. Why do you think barbecue is like the central part of the Australian summer? Yeah. Do you know that there's such a thing as like kangaroo sausages? Actually, wasn't there a girl, Christina, from Perth? She had to eat kangaroo meat. She'd never eaten it before. Ah. Did she like it? Ah, yes, apparently she did. I like the texture. I like that it's um, juicy and tender. Shobs, you know what you should do? You should tell them about what happened when you went fishing. <laughs> you want me to talk about the shark? Yes. <laughs> talk about the shark. OK, um, we went fishing for red snapper. It was like at 7, 8 in the morning. And I have a fear of fish, which is interesting. And we pulled up a shark on the boat. And I was scared. I will stop you! This is But um, I hear that Tony from Sydney actually went swimming with sharks by choice. Yeah. And how big were the sharks? Humongous. They were very, very big sharks. Dangerous? Well, generally they're sharks, so I think they're yes. <laughs> You'd want to go swimming with sharks? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> How about you? No? Good. Oh, I did. He's a little scared about sharks. <laughs> it's time to eat. <laughs> Thank oh, God. On. You've been only staring at it for a long time. <laughs> It smells really it smells good. Really good. And it looks good. Tastes good too. She's a good girl. <laughs> Thank you. Finding out what different people did on the show was really interesting because I got to see um, what Australia meant to different people and um, just how uh, they integrated different parts of the culture into their lives. Uh, Jasmine and Chopi, have any one of you graduated? I only just graduated. Oh, oh congratulations. Okay. Thank you. Um, I'll be graduating in July, so it's my last semester. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Uh, have you seen the story about Jason uh, from Tasmania? Uh, he graduated recently and his uh, parents came over. It was a very oh. emotional uh, uh, story then. I think the, expo the overseas exposure will certainly help him a lot in, you know, in overall and for the future. Yeah. Hopefully, Samson and Shane one day will be <laughs> graduates and we'll be there to see them. <laughs> Uh, graduations are really, really big events for us because, like, my parents value education so much. Mm. So it's like they're with Kong Zone. They tell them some things you did in Australia. Oh, well, Australia, uh, first and foremost, uh, we went down to this uh, adventure park, the St. Kilda Adventure Park, and uh, we're having worked in India for almost like 24 hours a day, wow. doing so many things. Here, I had the opportunity to take out my family out to an adventure park. And mind you, the kids really <laughs> had a great time out there. Kids! Oh, I have to tell you all about uh, the Dragon Boat Race. Ooh. Wow. Uh, <laughs> yes, prior to going for the Dragon Boat Race, I tried to look into why exactly the Dragon Boat Race was held. Mm. Met up with a few Chinese friends to know about uh, uh, the tradition part of it. And I learned a little bit of Chinese language also, so wow. that I could communicate with uh, uh, the participants out there. Oh, what did you learn? Uh, just to say good morning, uh, <laughs> okay. or other ways to greet them up. But when I actually went out uh, there and landed up, I met with uh, a bunch of Aussie guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh -huh. it was like surprising. Oh, I'm looking out for some Chinese guys. Out there. <laughs> and I'm meeting up with the Aussies. It, it was a great experience uh, to learn. Uh, the dragon boat and the enthusiasm that they show over there is tremendous. So, Frankie, what else would you like to do on My Australia? I think given an opportunity, there are a whole lot of things that you can actually do <laughs> out here in Australia. But the yeah. first thing that's on top of my priority list is to get up onto the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Oh man, too late. Um, Tao has already done that. This, oh. um, yeah. And um, I think she made it to the very top. Wow. She went the whole way? Yeah. Oh, brave. I must say she's quite brave. I think the view must have been really good. Yeah, and speaking of heights, did you hear Shaiful went up in a hot air balloon? I think that's actually higher up in the Sydney Harbour Bridge. <laughs> the fire bit in the middle, that, that would freak me out. <laughs> the fire oh. coming out. So then how do you plan where you land? I think you got to control um, the, yeah, the, yeah. the, yeah. the, fire, thing, the yeah. fire thing. Yeah, the fire thing. Mm. Oh, man. <laughs>
Jasmine, I heard you went about uh, mountain bike riding. Yeah, I did. Um, we biked down Mount Lofty, which is the highest point of Adelaide. That was a really, really good experience. I've never gone mountain biking in my life. So some of the parts of the trails are really rocky and that's when it gets really exciting. Because mm -hmm. then you go bum, bum, bum and I think all of us fell down our bikes. <laughs> yeah, and um, I also did another story, um, which was the Santa Fun Run. Where did you get your Santa suit? Oh, so they give <laughs> they give one out to every participant who registers. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> we had beers and a hat and a belt and yeah. So how many Santas were running? A thousand, more than a thousand. Oh. Did you get to keep your Santa suit? Yeah, <laughs> I still have it. Well, Halloween, you're set out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and um, yeah, another story I did was um, seeing the pandas at the zoo. So um, I got to go behind the scenes and feed the pandas, touch the pandas. Oh, you are a lucky one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was really lucky. Hi, No, oh, it's been really good um, yeah. having all of you here today. We've got some great food. Thanks for cooking yeah. the rice and um, yeah, the not blowing up stuff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Finish off with some Australian lemingtons and Yay! Cheers. Yay! Cheers. 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 Cheers! 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 To my Australia! Come on, Chen. That's it for this series of My Australia. It's been a blast presenting it for you. Thanks for watching.